So I always say when you're a newcomer, always start with your fingers. Don't try to jump into a knife right away. Um, because often your newcomers, are, when you're new to, to stripping, you want to get the knife because you think it's easier. And then you end up with not the result that you're looking for. Because um, often uh, when we're just starting with the knife, you have to be careful you don't cut the hair. Um, if, you're, if you don't know how to properly hold it, and you know, if you flick your wrist or if you, you just, it, it doesn't take much especially if you have a new knife. I always encourage people, try to find an old used one or find, you know, have somebody give you an old knife that they don't use anymore because uh, they're not as sharp. You don't want a sharp knife because that's not why you're using it. It's just supposed to aid you in pulling the hair, not actually, you know, you're not cutting it. You're not, you know, because then you'll, you know, you might as well start over. Um, a lot of the time, like this one is obviously in a very rough trim, very long hair, which is what we wanted. Um, but I'm, li I'm lifting it up right now so that I can see the long, you'll, you'll see the long hairs and you're looking to see if there's any undercoat because this is a, a breed. They're supposed to have a, a wiry top coat with a dense, a thick undercoat. 